I'll tell you a few things that make me happier than when our next guest stops by. Uh, this is what we did to her last Halloween. I had never learned how to use that little stopper on right. my tongue. Careful. <laughs> scared liar well, do we have that Grandfather, and then you I tweeted did. it out or something? Yeah, he's here. He's backstage. Remember, I brought him last yeah. time I was here. Right. He's, and he's just back like again. a bucket of sunshine. He is so amazing. That's... He just moved in with me, actually, and uh, I just moved into Nashville, and we're having a lot of fun. And your grandpa's living with you? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. You know, we pre taped Clint Eastwood, and you thought you were going to be on when he was here. I, on... I feel so very bad. much adore him. Like, I. You know, my grandparents raised me, so I grew up listening to, like, or watching, like, the westerns, and, like, I've seen all his films, and I love all of his work, and directing, and if, even if, movies that he's not in, if he just directs. Anything he touches, I love. Oh. Uh, like, I love That's a Clint shame. Oh. Every time we come here, I go over to his office, and, and like, there? try to get in the door, and oh. break in his office. Because it worked for Dolly, like, one time I broke in Dolly Parton's office. And then I got the meter. Mm -hmm. So I thought, I'll just break in his office and you, maybe... You could dress like a squirrel and he'll let you in. Yeah. yeah. I love squirrels. I actually... It's um, a shame. You should meet Clint Eastwood. We should try to get you to meet him somehow. Well, I keep, you, keep, you keep telling me like this and then nothing ever happens. Right. Well, so you, you're not going to trust me if I don't like follow through, you're saying? Yeah, I'm getting nervous because I feel like he's probably standing behind me. I'm going to yeah. start like... He's not standing behind you yet. Okay. But he might be soon. <laughs> You're not that heavy, really. And you can come to my office anytime. We have a squirrel down there that's waiting for you. I caught a, um, well, um... Talk to him, whatever you want to say. Okay. This is your chance. I don't think you realize how much we have in common. Like, I was... Yeah, we certainly look We both like. love animals <laughs> and westerns. And, uh, my heart is pinned on my heart. <laughs> engagement ring around when he came out. <laughs> Look, you're talking about your engagement, and then you just turned the ring around. Look at that beautiful, that's a beautiful ring. I, you Let's know talk what? about your fiancé now. Yeah. Well, we don't have to talk about him. I'm just kidding. I'm honest, in all honesty, um, I have been so blessed with the most amazing man ever. I mean, he is, his name's Kyle, and uh, he's, there he is. And he is such a man of God, and just so amazing, and he has showed me what love is, what love really is, you know? Like he is, I've never been treated so respectfully. I've never been loved the way that he loves me. And it's so important to find, to find that and to never settle with, 
a loser. Yeah. You know? Or you know, it's so it's so important to really. You know, I, I went through a little rough patch with boys. You know, we all kind of go through bad relationships and. I sat down one day and made a list, and I said, you know, maybe this sounds picky or a little, uh, a little overboard, but I made a list of qualities that I want in a man, that I look for in that significant other, and then Kyle comes along, and he just exceeded that list. And so, if Lord forbid, if anything were to ever happen between he and I, I my list, I just don't know that anybody could ever fill his shoes. He's just so amazing, get emotional. You deserve that. You and deserve we all that. Do. I know you've gone through a lot, so you deserve yeah, that. Um, but oh. I've been blessed. All right. Well, I'm very happy for you. And I've been on an emotional roller coaster ride. Yeah. It's, it's been a, a lot. Yeah. yeah every, just today, like. Uh-oh. <sighs> what else? Just, I cannot believe that happened. I'm with, sweating bullets. With, with Clint, you mean? And he's married, and I kissed him on the mouth, and I'm engaged. <laughs> Yeah. I'm excited. All right. Well, your time is up. Let's see what happens. That's it. I love you so much. I can't wait for so All right. much. I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you so much. I, I just love you so much. Kelly is going to be back later. We're going to dunk her in the uh, dunk tank to raise yeah. money for breast cancer. We'll be back. This month, Dryel will donate $10,000 to Komen for the Cure. And even though I tried to scare her, Kelly Pickler has agreed to let me dunk her. Kelly, come on out. Uh, you're a good sport. Oh, yeah. It's a good cause, though, but you're going to go I in mean, that water. I mean, I have a good swing, so you're going in the water. No, no, you're going in the water. I am. Yeah, I'm dunking you. Okay. Yeah. All come right. On. Head on up. Oh.